Hi everyone, it's Kath here from Best Coffee and today we're doing a showdown between three popular home automatic coffee brewers, the Wilfer Classic Plus, the Wilfer Performance and the Ratio 6. We'll compare their design, special features and most importantly the brew quality. It's all about getting that tasty coffee right. And at the end of this video I'll share some tips on how to make great coffee out of these kinds of automatic brewers, so stick around for that. First, a little background on these coffee brewers. Wilfer are a Norwegian company that make great coffee equipment, including a range of automatic coffee brewers. I have two of their most popular ones, the Wilfer Classic Plus, which is their classic version, and the Performance, which was developed in conjunction with coffee expert Tim Wendelbo and sports additional technical features. The Ratio 6 is from US-based company Ratio and is the smaller and less expensive sibling of the Ratio 8. The Ratio 8 gained popularity during its release for its beautiful design and superb brewing capability. Let's get the number one question out of the way. What do these brewers cost? Well, the Wilfer Classic Plus is £155, the Wilfer Performance is £285 and the Ratio 6 will set you back £375. You might think that all of these prices seem high compared to cheaper models that appear to do the same thing, but let me tell you why. Other than the obvious difference in the quality of the materials and the manufacturing, the big difference is the brewing temperature and its stability throughout the brewing process. All of these brewers heat up super fast, within seconds, and deliver water at the ideal brewing temperature of 92 to 96 degrees throughout the duration of the brewing process. This capability comes at a cost, but it is absolutely key to making a great tasting cup of coffee. Let's dive into these machines. All of them are really simple to use. Just fill your water tank, rinse your filter paper, pop in your ground coffee and press go. They all feature a cone filter basket which fits a size 4 filter over paper. And they all have similar dimensions. The performance is a little longer and the ratio is a little taller. Capacity wise, the Wilfer Classic Plus has the smallest water tank holding 1 litre, the Performance holds 1.25 litres and the Ratio holds 1.3 litres. Let's take a closer look at each one. The Wilfer Classic Plus has that clean Nordic style design. The body is made from steel and it comes in 8 colours, although what's available to you might depend on the country you're buying in. The coffee brews into a glass carafe that's situated on a hot plate which automatically turns off after 40 minutes. The hot plate's a nice idea, but if you can, I would just recommend serving the coffee straight away as it will taste a little nicer. What's unique about the Wilfer range of brewers is the manual drip stop function, which allows you to control the flow of water through your coffee and the brew time. For a faster brew, open the collar fully, and for a slower brew, just close the collar to your desired setting. You can even stop the flow completely and perform a steep stir and release style brew. There are also these helpful guides on the side of the water tank showing you how much coffee and water to use, it's a nice touch. Although it's fairly compact, the brewing arm needs to swing out to the side for you to access the basket, so you need to allow a little extra space on the side. And the arm gets quite hot. Moving on to the Wilfer Performance. Once again, we've got that lovely Nordic styling. It's made with a high quality matte black plastic designed not to show any fingerprints or coffee drips, and that's currently the only colour it comes in. There are little improvements throughout the whole design, like the brew basket is easier to slot in, the brewing arm doesn't get hot, and the manual drip stop is stepped and easier to manipulate. Even the touch button is soft rather than physical. It's nice. Like the Classic Plus, it brews coffee into a glass carafe, which is also improved in design. It's easier to pour out that last little bit of coffee. It has an automatic hot plate and has helpful guides written on the side of the water tank. What sets the performance apart from all the other brewers is its unique pump technology that fully pumps the water tank empty, ensuring that only fresh water is used for each brew. The other brewers don't have a pump, they operate using the thermosiphon principle. What's that? Okay, this is basically how it works in a coffee maker. Cold water from the tank feeds into a small tube at the base, which is surrounded by a heating element, and then as the water is heated, it's forced up through another small tube over to the dispersion screen, which then drips the water onto the bed of coffee. Does that make sense? Yeah, so there's no pump, it's just heat and gravity, and that's it. 
What this means is that you always have a little bit of residual water left in the tank. So you never get 100% fresh water and the total water dispensed won't exactly match what you put in. The caveat to this is that if you don't have a pump, then the pump will never break down, you'll never have to replace that part. The Wilford Performance, it's got a five year warranty, so we're not expecting that pump to break down. The water tank has another nice feature, it's removable, so it's even easier to fill your tank with fresh water. Overall, the Performance, it makes a tasty brew and it's a step up from the Classic Plus. Over to the Ratio 6. The design has nice clean lines, it's got a sleek appearance, and it really looks and feels like a heavy duty quality made brewer, which it is. The build materials are of the highest quality. The body is made from stainless steel and it comes in a matte black, matte steel or white. Visually, it looks more bulky than the Wilfers, but it's got virtually the same footprint. And that's probably because there's less clear components to the design. In particular, instead of a glass carafe that's situated on a hot plate, the coffee brews straight into this stainless steel thermal carafe, which keeps the coffee super hot and doesn't risk exposing the brewed coffee to any external heat, which can have a negative impact on the flavor of the coffee. So while I really like the look of the glass carafes, the thermal carafe is more functional and it's quite a nice looking thermal carafe. What really stands out about the Ratio 6 is the quality of the coffee extraction with its large dispersion screen, heat seal and bloom function all contributing to a great tasting coffee. The dispersion screen is really big. It's six centimeters in diameter and covers most of the bed of the coffee, which gives you a really even extraction across all of the coffee grounds. In comparison, the Wilfer Performance has a circular dispersion screen that measures three centimeters in diameter and the Wilfer Classic Plus actually has a rectangular shaped dispersion screen. The bloom function allows for water to be dispensed onto the coffee with time to settle before the brew cycle starts. And the heat seal, which fits in between the brew head and the basket, keeps the temperature of the brew really hot and stable. Yeah, there's a lot to like about the Ratio 6. It looks good, it's easy to use, it's a fantastic brewer. So which one makes the best coffee? Well, they all do a pretty good job. The Wilfers give you the opportunity to manipulate the brew by adjusting that drip stop collar. Uh, and you can even perform a steep stir and release type brew, which is a great way to get more flavor out of your coffee. The performance made the tastier brew out of the two, in my opinion. However, the Ratio 6 did the best job out of all three at extracting the coffee. And it's the only machine where I didn't feel like I wanted to manipulate the brew. It was great just the way it came out. It was really tasty. It does come with the highest price tag, but it's backed up by the quality of the brew, its technical features and the build materials. It's really good. We've made a comparison table for you, summarizing everything about these coffee machines. We'll pop it in the notes below. And if you've got any questions or you wanna know anything else, hit us up in the comments. Really do hope that you liked the video. Uh, give us a like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe. Ah, wait, before you go, I promised some bonus tips on how to make great coffee out of these automatic coffee brewers. Unless you know your machine has a filter, make sure you use good quality soft water. Use good coffee, grind it fresh. Use a ratio of 60 to 70 grams of coffee per litre of water. If you've got a machine and the basket actually won't hold that quantity of coffee, then your coffee's always gonna taste bitter and watery. Uh, maybe think about buying a different machine. Don't let your brew sit on a hot plate for too long. It's just best consumed immediately or use a thermal carafe or a thermal mug. Give your brew a stir or a swirl before serving. That just makes sure all the components are evenly dispersed. Don't use the carafe you brew coffee into as the jug you use to fill up your water tank. There'll be residual coffee oils in that carafe and it will make your new coffee taste like old coffee. Yuck. Okay, thanks again for watching. Catch you all again soon.